Although glacial ice is a solid, it actually flows like a river. It's incredible to think that this much ice is constantly on the move. I've been climbing up to see what drives the glacier. And it's the phenomenal weight of this enormous ice pack, over nine kilometers long and up to 500 meters deep. Millions of tons of ice crammed into this valley. Built up from layer upon layer of snow, this monumental river of ice is constantly being topped up by fresh snowfall, and that keeps it flowing downhill. It makes very slow progress, but there is a way to see it move. A time-lapse camera shows that Nigod's brain's surface ice travels at around 275 meters per year, carving away the rock as it goes. When you're here, the only clues you see of the glacier's movement are crevasses, deep gashes that split open the surface of the ice. These open up at the top of the ice. And one of the reasons is that at the top, the ice is brittle and tough. Further down, where it's being squeezed, it's more plastic and soft. But as the glacier moves, the brittle part of the top breaks open and creates these, these great crevasses. When a crevasse has opened up in the ice, meltwater can gather in it and start hollowing its way down towards the bedrock. Here, it carves out a hidden world of icy caverns deep within the glacier. I'm going to try to abseil right into the heart of the glacier to see for myself how it moves. Oh! That was amazing. So this is it, we're in the engine room of the glacier. You can see just down here, we're right where the ice meets the ground, and this is where everything important happens. I'm getting pretty wet here with all the melting water from the ice, but it's that that helps the glacier slide on its belly, and one of the things that makes it so dynamic. Nigod's brain's temperate mountain climate means the ice at the lower end of the glacier exists very close to melting point as well as the meltwater flowing beneath the ice, which helps lubricate the glacier on its journey down the mountain, there's meltwater within the ice itself, seeping out of these walls. And that melting water also makes this cave, and other caves like it probably all around. And I bet this cave wasn't here last year, and it probably won't be here next. It's transient, it's part of the signs that the glacier is dynamic and moving and changing all the time.